Good morning, everybody. Today's August 3rd. Here's a quick COVID update. I will try to keep this shit short and not cuss too much, <laughs> but it's a hot mess. So Louisiana is really, really awful. Um, as of you know, t yesterday's report, you know, it's 135,000 cases yesterday in the United States. Now, some of that's misleading because that could be um, some cases from um, that were backlogged from Sunday when they when a lot of places don't report so i don't really think much about monday reports but if we get into tuesday wednesday and thursday and the caseloads continue over a hundred thousand i know it's going to be bad i've predicted two hundred thousand cases a day in the united states before this next wave is, is going to go i would call this the second pandemic wave a lot of people are calling it the fourth wave but i think it's the second um, but um, let me tell you how this is going to go. Louisiana is on fire right now. They are in trouble. New Orleans, you know, Lady of the Lake, a huge regional hospital is, um, uh, they have, they're over full, overflowing in the ICU. They have 23 people waiting to get into ICU, waiting. So this is um, horrible. If you look back at last August, we, this last summer, uh, this summer, we, our cases increased faster than last summer when we were all panicking last summer and the numbers were going up because we had reopened. We were all panicking. And this summer, this last couple months, we're actually at a faster trajectory than last year and we're vaccinated. Now, luckily we got to 70% of the US population have at least one dose, but only about 50% is fully vaccinated. So that still leaves 150, 175 million exposed uh, U.S. citizens and you know 12 and under can't even qualify for it yet. But um, there's a lot more people who need to get on the ball now. The vaccination vaccination rates are going up, but remember it's at least a two month two month period. So you're talking all of August, all of September. So we're you're really talking in my birthday, October 1st, before you have if you get vaccinated today, you're talking my birthday before um, you know you're covered. So we're going to be in this for a while, man. And uh, we went from you know two million <clears throat> vaccinations a day down to as low as five hundred thousand, and, and in some areas we're back up to seven hundred thousand. It's increasing the vaccinations, but where people are just getting are just you know they think like oh if I'm sick in the hospital I'll get, just get vaccinated. Like rem remind people, it takes two months for you to get um, protection from the virus. So. So people are like rushing now to get their kids vaccinated to go back to school. And I'm like, uh, they're not going to be ready for school. They won't have coverage. You know, your high school kids are going to have to wear masks, you know, anyway. So let me tell you how this is going to go down. It's going to go um, uh, Louisiana. Next week will be Florida. Florida, is, you're already seeing... Um, a lot of news coverage on Florida. Miami is over 2,500 cases a day. I mean, Florida looks as red as politics. I mean, it's pretty nasty. After that, um, next week's Florida. The week after that's going to be Texas. So Texas is going to be up next for the big uh, pandemic wave. Sorry, my allergies are really bad today. Texas is going to be up next. And then after that's going to be California. All right. So California is going to be on fire towards the end of August. It's already upticking. There's wildfires. There's drought. It's not looking good. Now, um, and probably at the same time, it's going to go up the eastern seaboard. So you're looking up uh, Virginia, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and, and New York numbers are going to go up. So this whole thing is going to be all through August. And the problem is we're getting through, uh, we're going to be opening schools back up without, for most places, no online option. Um, so hopefully your high school, your kids are above 12 and older. You, you know, you did the right thing. I'm not, that sounds judgmental, but you did what was right for your family <laughs> and got your kids vaccinated, which is what was right for my family. But we're going to be in this for a while. And then probably we'll get a little bit of a dip down right before the, the holiday surge again, when people are going to be like, I'm not shutting down. I shut down last year. I'm not going to do it this year. And even though more and more data and more and more science are coming in, you know, uh, talking about vaccinated versus unvaccinated viral loads. I did a video on that yesterday um, about how people who are vaccinated have the same uh, level of virus in their nose. That's from a small study in Wisconsin. I don't know if that will hold true through the bigger picture. 
uh, everything's just too early to tell. I mean, uh, and you cannot say that vaccinated people also spread the virus. The data is not in. Data is suggestive. You can find papers both ways that, that they don't and papers that suggest that maybe they do. But they, question, the answer is, is, is maybe, maybe they do. Not they definitely do. We just don't know yet. It could turn out that they do, that vaccinated people do spread the virus. It's, it's starting to lean that way. But um, either way, the answer is still social distance, wear a mask, especially when and people have made it so inflammatory. Um, now, why is this the case? You know, uh, we're learning more and more about this Delta variant, and everybody's talking about the Delta variant, but I wanna let you in on something. You know, you're gonna hear more and more about the Lambda variant. This is the variant that's coming out of Peru, okay? And just remember, you heard it first here, Dr. V, I've been looking at this Lambda variant uh, for the last month, um, this is what kept Peru hot for a long time. And remember what I said, I said, you know, Brazil, uh, all through the spring, you know, they, they got their numbers under control and they took back off again. And who remembers, I said, there's something weird happening in Brazil. Like normally the Brazilian variant should have like burnt itself out. So I'm not really sure why Brazil is like 65, 70,000 cases a day. It's just bad, there's something going on. The answer is it might be the Lambda variant. Like it's happening from, um, it came over from Peru and it's tearing through, it's what's tore through um, South America. And now it's here in the United States. So, I'm sorry about my allergies. So that, so the um, Lambda variant is gonna be the next thing that you're gonna guys are you're gonna hear about. Now why? There are mutations in the Lambda variant that number one, makes it much more contagious it's like the Delta variant in time in, um, in terms of contagion. Number two, there are early, small, in vitro studies, these are Petri dish studies in the lab that seem to indicate that the Lambda variant <clears throat> is more resistant to vaccinated antibodies, to antibodies that have been created uh, in vaccinated individuals. Now that is a petri dish in lab study, small numbers, <clears throat> can't draw conclusions from it, but it's not looking good. And if it's not gonna be the lab, and if it's not gonna be the Lambda variant, it will be something else or something very, an offspring of the Lambda variant. So you heard it here first. This is why it is so important now that we really mask up, we social distance, we get vaccinated. And what I said, I've told people who follow my followers for the longest time, if you want to be successful in life, do the opposite of what the masses do. Generally speaking, if you will do the opposite of what the masses do, you'll be successful in life. So when they, um, when this pandemic hit last April and people were like all confused, I went all in on learning about coronavirus and this pandemic and what's going to happen. I read about the Spanish flu, 17, 18, 19, and um, I dusted off virology textbooks. I spent a whole weekend, two weeks, you know, a whole couple weeks of my life, like rereading about virology and all sorts of stuff. I doubled down on that. And then I was, you know, I told Erica, I was like, we got to take this very seriously, masked, hand sanitizers, social distance, the whole shebang. Quit going to restaurants before the before they even mandated that, and then we. I was the first one. Like when they started opening up, I was like, "We're gonna go to a restaurant." Eric was like, "Are you sure it's safe?" I said, "Yeah, these restaurants have been closed down for like three months, and they've just been steamed and polished, and no one's been in there. This like the restaurants are like the safest place right now." This was last May, May June, and um, for the holidays last. We didn't travel because people were wanting to travel for their holidays, and that's what happened in uh, January, February. You saw that big surge, and then we started. We we enjoyed our spring weather while everyone was still kind of nervous. We got our vaccinations as soon as we could while people were being hesitant. And now I am telling y'all, I've got my N95 mask, which I've never worn before. Um, I'm thinking about sending my family away to New Mexico because the cases are lower there, and her family's there. For a couple weeks before school starts <clears throat> and we're shutting down we're not going indoor you know only outdoor dining 
and um, maybe no more indoor stuff at all, like museums and things like that, even though we're vaccinated, even though we are fully vaccinated, except for my five-year-old, we are doing the opposite of what average people do. I highly recommend that. So in summary, again, it's Louisiana this week, Florida uh, next week, California the week, at, um, Texas the week after that, California and the East Coast uh, towards the end of August. That's the, the way. And after this Delta variant burns through us, you're going to see the Lambda variant. Okay, so August 3rd, book it. I'll see you next time.